Yeah, yeah. Sorry? I thought the MEN had to be a cable. It has to be mostly insulated so it identifies what it is. Do you understand what I mean? A solid bar. Yeah. Um, most of the time I've seen it where a, a, a piece of insulation is better because it identifies as the MEN link. All right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test to make sure the insulation resistance is okay. I'm going to make sure that all my switches are turned on, all your light switches are turned on, all right? Make sure you have things like Edison globes removed and all that stuff because you'll get a short. What you also need to do is we normally then have to also put in a, a wire from here to here for your link because these two going through the meter, you normally have to put a short through on your meter. The neutral doesn't matter because that's continuous through this bar here, all right? Because we need to test the mains, come up to the pit, Bridge that out. The other thing we also need to bridge out is active and neutral. I'm going to do it individually here on the active and the, or the neutral as well. But at the end of the day, if we don't bridge this out, we're not also going to do the mains going back to the pit or the overhead. All right. So I'm just going to say that we've shorted ours out. We'll go through and test. We're going to test between the earth and the active conductor first. I've going to set it to 500 volts. And the only thing I want to do is make sure it's on zero. Okay, it's reading zero, beautiful. Don't forget, the meter on this reads the opposite way. So on ohms, it reads back this way to zero. On this way, it reads back the opposite way. Okay, so I'm going to now go through from my earth bar to my active. Okay, I've got 0 0.5. Okay, it's starting to come up a little bit. So it means I've got a low reading there. It doesn't, it's not going to pass. There's something there. Then I'm going to do my neutral as well and that's also down so we've got problems here with something touching so one of the other things i can do if i put this in on the earth bar and what i can do is start going through turning off my breakers all right and it might start coming up so all right and we'll go through and test between active and neutral so you start going through the circuits the problem i've got here is that there's things touching around and on them to ground as well with all these tails but at the end of the day, when you do test, if you do start having a fault on a circuit, you can start isolating each circuit as you go through, and you might find that a meter might come back up again. Do you understand what I'm getting at? So the minimum insulation resistance on this should be one mega ohm. All right? If I've got a stove, like I said, or a hot water service on the circuit, I'll have problems with that going down. So I need to isolate those out as we, if we get a very low reading. So we do the main set, whole installation first. Then the next one, we start doing the sub-circuits. All right? Working them out, and then once we identify which one's down, we then break it down and start going from there. All right? Making sure, we've got to also do polarity of mains as well. So polarity of mains is me checking from the neutral bar. So I'm just going to switch it back to ohms. I just want to make sure the active's in the active position. So with that still shorted, I, would, I can check from here up to the top of my main switch, and I get a zero reading, which means it's in the active position. And if I go to the neutral, down to here to the neutral bar, and the neutral, I get zero again. So what I've done is I've identified that the active is active and the um, neutral is neutral, all right? But you must do that also with the mains as well. Make sure you're switching the mains. And all that. It sounds, people go, oh yeah, but why would you get confused? But if you're running four XLPs on a big factory, four XLPs, you start getting the blue and the black, they start looking very similar in color. Do you understand what I'm getting at? So you need to make sure you've got everything polarized out. All right, the other one, if we had our sub circuits, uh, we would do to make sure the active's in the active. And the other one of the other tests is to make sure that we don't get interposing. So in other words, I get an active and a neutral hooked up onto the different circuit. We've got to make sure the active and neutrals are paired to each circuit breaker. All right. Anyway, we'll leave it at that and we'll go from there.